Hey, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Boylan Does Dark Dimension 4. Now, uh, this time the reason why I'm not uh, showing myself is actually because I don't want to wake up you-know-who. <clears throat> I am 95% better now, uh, but probably after this run you'll start seeing my face again on Dark Dimension, so my apologies in case you were missing me, uh, but uh, we are getting back into Cosmic 3 aka Node 9. Uh, we've, As you can see, we've done a good chunk of damage on this node, but we're going to be jumping back in. We did about 16 million damage on attack number 4. Attack number 3 was uh, not so great. Uh, but between the two of them, and obviously if you're here from my previous attempts, I did really good on the very first attempt too. So, uh, probably only a couple of more days left on this node at best. So let's jump back right in. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, not too difficult. I think I may have um, <laughs> forgot to turn on my... Turn off low graphics mode rather, because I've been playing on blue stacks with low graphics mode due to Silver Surfer. Because Silver Surfer crashes my blue stacks and slows it down if I'm not using it. So my apologies here. I will try and make it work though. Uh, the annoying part is obviously the uh, special character. So in case things go uh, become a bit of a problem, I'll have to uh, fix that I guess. So Heimdall from this wave will always perform as special and ultimate. And I think Green Goblin's dead. So... or no, maybe he's not dead. Okay, they appear. So since I'm on low graphics mode, they just kind of appear out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> and I can't see their glowy eyes, so I have to remember this. So I think... Right, I remember from last time. So Baron Zemo kind of dropped down and effed us up a little bit here. So we're going to work on Heimdall. But... I also want to get Red Skull down as well. And I know that Baron Zemo is going to be a major pain in the ass, so... I might, uh, they, and they, a lot of them have uh, immunity because they're Hydra characters, but I'm going to do this for damage. I don't know if that's it's not enough to kill anyone. Okay, this is a bit annoying. We need to taunt up. We're going to taunt up on uh, th uh, Taskmaster there. Some turn bar. It's kind of annoying. And heal block on Hela. That's not great. It's not great. But let's see if we can cleave here. We did kill the Hydra, min the Hydra guys. And Heimdall's probably shortly behind. There we go. We need to get that heal block off of Hela, though. And uh, we're going to try and land a Disrupt here, if we can. Just in case he taunts. There we go. Heimdall's down. I don't know if this is going to trigger a new wave or not. We really need to get the Zemo down, though. Uh, I, I, I really hate uh, Taskmaster, but in this case... I think Zemo, we don't want him getting any more spawn charges, so this is a pain. And at this point, I'm not sure if we can be able to get Hela dead. If we can, that's great, but there's not enough burst damage here, I don't think, to get him, get her killed, rather. So we're just going to work away here, unless she takes rebound, no, I was going to say, unless she took enough rebound damage, but let's see if we can get Greg killed here. Can we get him? No, I thought maybe from the counterattack. All right, let's work away on Zemo some more here. Uh, we're just going to do the special here. I know it's a bit wasted because he doesn't really get buffs or anything, but uh, let's do some healing a little bit. Losing the Greg. Greg's heal block, or sorry, Hella's heal block is gone, though, so that's fine. And then we're just chipping away at Zemo. I don't want to use that ultimate yet, though, uh, because I'd rather use it... And we're going to taunt here. I'd rather use it when there's more characters. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks Taskmaster, for stealing uh, my buffs. <laughs> Here we go. Um, doesn't he? Ha I swear he has a counter attack. Or does he need more? Maybe he needs more skill characters. It's been so much, so long since I remember. Uh, let's steal these back. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Hell is just not taking enough damage here. Uh, kind of afraid of uh, crossbones blowing up though, and killing Minerva. I hope that doesn't happen. We're stuck on a taunt. Uh, we might need to alt, actually, here. I might get the energy back. I might get the energy back. If we have to kill the whole wave before before it respawns, it's, 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 there's a good chance this might happen. Uh, we're just going to use the basic here. Zemo's so close to being dead. Maybe we should have waited for that explosion before alting. Now, does this trigger a new wave? Because if that does, that might be a bit of a pain. 
Uh, let's taunt up. We did get the offense down here. Otherwise, we can just stall a little bit. Uh, I, I I really don't like Taskmaster. I'm probably going to try and get him down first. His uh, kit is kind of annoying more than Crossbones is. So far, so good, though. After this, we're going to be pretty close to the final wave, actually. Uh... Gonna actually hit here, clear that death proof. Did get hit. Maybe we can get uh, Greg killed? killed. Oh no, is this a counter bug? Does he not actually have counter? Huh. Ghost bugs? Ghost ghost boss that I don't see? Because I hit him and he didn't counter attack. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, we're, we're close back to Minerva's alt again, actually. Uh, we're gonna do a Call of Obsidian taunt again. Of course, lose our frickin' buffs. That's annoying. Nope, didn't clear the death proof. So, there's a lot of phantom, phantom buffs here, and this is really annoying, actually. <clears throat> Got the Minerva alt again. Oh no, we're basically at the Minerva alt again. So, I don't know what buffs he has and what he doesn't have. Does he have... <sighs> he doesn't have counter. I know for that for a fact he doesn't have a counter. Otherwise, he would have countered me back. So, I'm a bit confused here. It's too bad not none of these characters really do enough damage, though, to... Yikes. Uh, we might need to alt that, actually. That's disappointing. Uh, he's got offense down. I think we might need to alt, and I don't want to alt, but uh, we need some more health. A little bit. This taskmaster is just super bugged on her on his hit points here. We might be able to get Minerva, um, Hella killed. Maybe in the next wave, possibly. I don't know. Taskmaster down, yeah. Crossbones down. Okay, Cull Obsidian will always perform his ultimate. Human Torch will always perform special and ultimate. Yikes, that Human Torch is going to be a pain. Taskmaster special and ultimate. Okay, so these front three characters. Uh, the Human Torch is going to be a super pain in the ass. Actually, this is going to be a lot of pain in the ass, probably. Green Goblin's not fun, but I think Human Torch is probably going to be the biggest problem. So... Uh, we have no Taunt yet, either. Um... I guess it doesn't really matter if you disrupt Cull because he'll just clear it with his taunt. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do some damage into Human Torch, I think. We're not quite up to our ultimate yet either. We're four turns away from that, or three more from this. That's really gonna hurt. <laughs> and uh, Taskmaster's alt is also gonna hurt. So we're gonna try and land. We didn't land an offense down is what I was trying to do, but that didn't work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this might be the end. We might have to take all these hits here on the chin. We still stole the taunt there, but and we do have a revive. I just don't think Minerva's gonna survive long enough here. I don't think the rest of my characters are going to survive long enough, so yeah, I don't think... <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, we could revive, but everyone's like basically dead, so I think I'm just going to hold this until next time, unfortunately, and save my cooldowns, and maybe we might do better. Oh, there we go, crossbones blew everyone up. Okay, so that wasn't the best run. That is almost the, the, the final wave, not quite the final wave, 
uh, but very close. So, uh, I don't think it'll be too much longer until we clear this. I know we didn't get a ton of damage in. It was mostly just clearing out those uh, that previous wave. Did about 7 million damage, so that's not too bad. I think probably in about 3 more days we should manage to be able to clear this. So, uh, that's looking good. We're not quite ready for City yet anyways, but we've made some good progress. So, I'm happy with that. And we're only on uh, attack number 5 for being the last node for Cosmic. So, I think we've done pretty well. So thanks everyone for watching, and of course, I'll see you all next time on Dark Dimension 4. Uh, but where we are right now, in Dark, where I'm at right now, this is kind of near the end of Node 3, Cosmic 3, aka Node 9, of Dark Dimension 4 Cosmic. I recently released this morning a YouTube video for Dark Dimension 4, I think finishing up Node 2, this one here. So in terms of my video releases, if you haven't been following my live stream, uh, I am a little bit behind on my release because I don't want to release them uh, every single day. Uh, there's, I think, two more videos that I have still to release. But so if you guys are following that, you might see it a bit out of touch here, but that's OK. So uh, we are close to the end. So as of where I'm at in terms of Dark Dimension 4 here, I've done five attacks on this node here. Uh, and I got about 7 million damage, not too much on the last attack there. J you can just do regular Twitch during Dark Dimension 4 time. Uh, I could, I guess. I, I don't, I don't want to go on the live stream every single day, because sometimes I don't, I'm not, I don't have the time to be able to do that, you know, with the dog and, and such. So uh, I'm not able to get onto live stream every single day when I want to do Dark Dimension 4. But uh, here we are anyways, so we're almost through it. We're, we're both less than a third left of this node. And so we're going to be jumping back in here for Dark Dimension 4, Cosmic 3, Node 9, Day 6. So this is just what I'm doing for my YouTube videos, so, because I'm probably going to rip this out later. So let's jump back in. If you ca in case you guys know what my, if you guys have been following me at all, then you know the kind of the team that I'm using here for Dark Dimension 4 Cosmic, and that is Hella. Call of City and Thanos and Minerva, and this is the kind of layout setting that I use for these attacks as well. Minerva's off to the side there, just so I can kind of uh, control the adjacent attacks, chains, things like that. And I keep Hella behind them because usually they're alternating tanking, and uh, the adjacent attacks hit Hella. And I usually I do want to kill Hella, and then that allows me to get extra Gregs or what they call double Greg. And I'm not sure if it's in today's video or if it's, it's I think it's in the next video actually. The very first attack that I did for Dark Dimension 4 Cosmic Node 3 here, I did actually manage to get quadruple Gregs. I've never had that ever before, but I managed to get four different Gregs for Hela, and that was quite amazing. So uh, that was a really fun time. And did result in a lot of damage, actually. Because of all that turn, the turn bar manipulation, the turn bar rewind uh, on the Gregs as well. So let's see what we got going on here on this wave. I think we're mid-wave. I believe, or on the final wave here. So, Cull Obsidian, this, oh, this is a, oh, yeah, I remember this. Cull Obsidian from this wave will always perform his ultimate ability. That's not that bad, but it's Human Torch from this wave will always perform his special and ultimate, and then Taskmaster, special and ultimate. So, it's the Human Torch and the Taskmaster I'm most concerned about. The rest of the enemies aren't that difficult. We got a crossbones here. We got two two uh, bullseyes. We got a Heimdall. Heimdall's heal block is a bit of a pain, but I think it's going to be this Human Torch. Uh, Human Torch is really bursty. His AOE does a lot of damage actually, and that's something that I'm going to need to avoid somehow. I don't know exactly how, but that's what we're going to try and figure out here. And we're going to start off. By trying to get Greg, I thought I thought he counterattacks. I I really thought that Greg, or sorry, I thought the Taskmaster counterattacked on his passive there, but I guess not. So, all uh, right, <laughs> I'm not sure. We're just gonna use. We really need to chip away at Human Torch. We need to get Hella killed as well. And who just hit Minerva? I totally missed that. Where did that come from? Things are happening so fast. Okay, uh, Minerva can't die. I'll have to re I'll have to rewind that if that happens. I can taunt here. If there's any AOE at all, Minerva's gonna bite it. Damn it! <laughs> I think that's a good chance to get Hella killed though. There, if Green Goblin's ultimate hits Hella multiple times. 
if that's possible. Alright, back in again. Four ball of biopolymers for Emma. Oh yeah, that's great. I mean, you're almost there then. Yeah, I must have missed that. I didn't see... Uh, it was a bullseye's basic. I, I, I didn't see it. Sometimes I run it two times when there's a full wave because I just can't see what's going on all the time, but... Alright, so... Same stuff. Okay, we're just going to do that. So that's kind of the reason why I didn't hit him with Greg, because the death roof... I, that's not a huge deal, I guess. It's not like he's close to dying. We can just clear it anyways, I guess, there. Ah, uh, wow. Taskmaster just... Oh, wait, no. Taskmaster got an assist? Holy crap. Uh, right. So that's that's a that's a big problem. Uh, so that needs to go on to Hela, I think. Especially because Taskmaster gets spawn offense up. Uh, that's a huge problem. Uh, Minerva cannot get hit by that. Uh, if Hela were to get hit by that and get the assist, uh, she'd actually come really close to dying, which is what I want to happen. Um, I think I have her revive. I'm pretty sure her energy is up for her revive. I don't know if it's up for the ultimate, but it doesn't seem like we got around to Minerva's turn anyways for that to happen. So uh, we might be in a very tricky situation here. Uh, there's a lot of characters and not a lot of stuff for us to do to manipulate this too much. Uh, I, You know, unless more of them end up hitting Greg. The problem is is that uh, Human Torch is loaded up with his alt here. That's not fun either. Hey, we got the, okay, the, the, the counterattack there, actually. That's kind of what I wanted. Oh, hey, Miner uh, there's some more resists, actually. They all resisted the offense down as well. I'm actually going to spread this this time. Damn it! Leave, leave Minerva alone. I don't know about you guys, uh, but this is the most frustrating thing about Dark Dimension in general. Whether it's three or four, you know, getting that—it's not even getting the perfect run, but just getting that RNG that you just don't want to happen, you know, and, and spending you know however much time it takes to do this and. It's really frustrating. That's for sure. Getting just getting that start of the wave, you know, it's possible to get through it. I think I can get through this, but there's definitely been times where I've had to reset a couple times, and I, I know it's not fun from a live stream perspective. But yeah, I mean, unless you're really knee deep into Dark Dimension Four and you love this, but uh, seeing me get frustrated probably isn't. The <laughs> yeah, so. We get the counterattack back, that's good, okay. <clears throat> More offense downs that time than before. Th that doesn't really matter, though, necessarily. You know, we just need... We need Minerva not to get hit here. She got hit again! <laughs> See? It's so frustrating. I wonder if there's like some, uh, I don't know, put onto one times mode just before that happens. You know, maybe there's some sort of like tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hat theory on RNG here. <clears throat> oh, God. Two bullseyes, yeah, yeah. Taskmaster will assist on both their attacks. That's interestingly, though. Yeah, I just, you know, if, if they could target Hella, if they could target Hella, we'd be good because I want her to die. Now I'm always. There we go. We didn't. We didn't get the counterattack that time. Also, Hella didn't get uh, offense down that time either. So that's not. Again, neither of these are the big problem. The big problem. I'm gonna turn this. On. Am, am I gonna get my luck? Maybe my luck will change here. If I turn on it two times. So, I need Bullseye to hit Hella. There, there we go! Can, can we... 
But Greg needs to stay alive. Oh! But let's. I'm. I'm. You know what? Just for science, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what happens here. Can we? Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. I was gonna say if if maybe. If Hella stayed, if, if if Minerva stayed alive, I might have kept that, and then the the Green Goblin Ultimate hit her one too many times. <sighs> like, I, I, it, it's 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 that Green Goblin Alt. I think if we can get past that Green Goblin Alt and people are still alive, I think we have a chance. I think that's where we need to get to. I'm not convinced. I have to suicide here. To blow the cooldowns and go back in because realistically the glowy guys, the, the three there, they're just gonna they're gonna do the same attacks anyways. Uh, this is like the end of the node because there's like how many characters? There's three, five, eight of them, and I only have eleven enemies left. So this is pretty much the end of the node here. Same thing. And we just need to... Maybe Hela died too early. Maybe I didn't want her to die that early. I don't want her to get hit like... Minerva, Minerva can't get hit like that. Because then she'll barely survive Heimdall. And then we're... We're probably screwed from Green Goblin. If even one of those hit... Oh wow, it didn't actually hit her. Somehow. Oh my god! And we have an alt. Okay, we're, do we're, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. We're gonna get the alt. We're keeping it. I'm keeping this. Even if we just get the alt. Wait, how did Cull get a taunt? Oh, crap. Did Cull steal taunt from my Cull? I think that's what happened. Because <laughs> because he's supposed to always do his ultimate. So I'm like, how did he get taunt? Well, that's annoying. Okay, well, e if even if that's all we do today, uh, you know what? <clears throat> even one Minerva alt does a lot of damage. Uh, Hell is pretty close to biting it as well, actually. Uh, will she die? She's so close to dying. So is Call. Call's close to dying too. Uh, we're actually over halfway towards the next alt, so that's good, uh, but I don't know if... <laughs> okay, okay, alright, Minerva bit it. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna keep this. We're, we're still stuck on the taunt, wow, okay. Uh, you know, Human Torch is two-thirds down, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with that, I guess. I, I'm not ready for City yet, so I still got time. I still got time, I'm just gonna save my cooldowns at this point. Get a little bit more damage in there. Yeah, this is the last cosmic node. Ooh, there we go. Human Torch is, uh, I could kill Human Torch with a Minerva alt next time. I think he's under 15% health there. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. It wasn't the best run there. A lot of RNG to get going, but... I'm happy with this for now. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not ready for City quite yet. I still need some more bio gear, so I will get this finished in the next couple of days for sure. Uh, it wasn't that much damage. What did I get? It's five million. Yeah, it wasn't great, uh, but I think probably within the next three days I'll get this cleared, and I, I, I'll probably have this cleared before I'm ready for City, anyways. Uh, so 
That's okay. I mean, compared to my other attacks, though, like the very first attack, I got 26 million. Best attacks for attack one was 26 million, and then 16 million on attack number four. Attack number two was also 13 million. So I did some really good attacks early on, and that'll be in my next YouTube video release. I did quadruple Gregs on this node in the first attack. It was really amazing. It was it was quite something to see four Gregs on the field at once. But uh, <laughs> given the fact there was no sinister cloning going on.